welcome to the Don Serious Show. Whether you're a curious mind or someone seeking inspiration, the Don Serious Show is your go-to destination. We promise to ignite your curiosity and leave you with fresh insights after each episode. So subscribe, tune in, and enlighten your mind. All right, welcome everybody to the Done Serious Show. I am your host, Done Serious, with my co-host, Excellency. How are you doing today, Excellency? <laughs> hey, I'm great. Hey, hey. Thank you. All is well. You're welcome. So, this How's is our... going uh, for you? It's, awesome, uh, it's right? good, it's, awesome, it's good. Right? Uh, this is our first episode, so uh, we got to uh, break the ice into this podcast. Uh dominion i guess i don't know well talking about what is the don serious show oh what is the don serious show it is a nice little self-made hmm, what's the word i'm looking for it has a unique niche because i am a trucker and i like to present problems through uh knowledge or experience and I don't want to give you a solution to the problem, but give you another perspective to the problem. And so I have a lot of particular things that I, I have experience in or knowledge in. So I incorporate incorporated it to me being a trucker and try to follow that niche. If that answers your question, I don't know. All right. Experiences of a trucker slash everything else. Sounds exciting. Oh, yeah. I am, I'm not a guru, but uh, I know a little something here. So, you know, the podcast is a unique uh, show, and uh, you kind of caught me off guard here with that question, but uh, as if I wasn't prepared because I don't have a lot of things I can cover, but uh, uh, I got I got a, quite a few things um, this show going to cover from start to finish, and I don't think it's ever going to finish. And I don't know. I don't even want to stop this show now. I, I like it, you know. No. Let's not be modest here. Let's not be modest. You've lived a lot of life. You've got a lot of stuff to cover. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like I mean, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, uh, yeah, yeah. And still continuing to live a lot of life. So yeah. we're here with Don Sirius. Let's hear more about Don. Okay, uh, yeah, so I am Tell us all about serious. your interests. Let's hear about, this is going to help us to know more about the mind behind the Don Serious show. Mm -hmm. So let's get okay. to know Don. Not a problem. You know what? You can get to know Don. And to start out, uh, yeah, um, Don Serious, that's who I am. Uh, Don is like my middle name like we're about to break out the song it. yeah and uh, uh i'm not the, the biggest am. uh astrology oh my god <laughs> <laughs> astrologist or uh what's the what's the other word besides astrology what's the opposite of come on help me out oh you're asking the wrong one for help you know what time it is <laughs> Oh my god. You're gonna Hold get up. minimum. Astronomy or tonight. astrology. Yeah. So uh serious because I took a trip to Jamaica in the what was it like two thousand and eight maybe? And I went up into the mountains and I met some good people and somehow the birth of uh Sirius came out because I was into the whole Sirius star like ooh in the early two thousands. Okay. That's how that you oh, know Oh, how the sky going on. Okay, oh, yeah. with your star uh, self. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know. So I, I like duality too. So I took um, Qigong before I started um, driving trucks, and really I signed up for Tai Chi. But you had to like learn Qigong while you do Tai Chi, and they introduced me to the uh, concept of uh, duality. And I probably knew a lot of it, but mm -hmm. I didn't like dive into it. So serious is like okay, I could be a serious person, but I'm also a star, and I do feel like every star represents a human being in the sky, and it's one of I'm I'm one of those stars, so I'm serious. <laughs> okay, All people right. watching this are probably saying bullshit. I just heard a song in my head, and I'm trying my heart. I'm fighting, I'm fighting it. I'm fighting the feeling right. 
<laughs> okay. Would you like to okay. care to share awesome, like a awesome. Care Bear? <laughs> no, when you said that, I, I'm not going to do it. I'm not doing it. <laughs> okay. Look, you guys, one thing you got to know about me, I am so goofy and songs will just be popping up left and right and I'll just bust out saying whatever the heck is on my mind. So you're going to see that along the way, but I'm, I'm going to try to hold just <laughs> okay. a little bit. Was there anything else you would like to know? Why are you holding in these secrets on the on the first episode? <laughs> it's not secret, not secrets. Like I said, little by little, little by little, we're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. Yeah, so, I agree with that though. Yeah, how long no, have you I, been trucking? That's a good question. I've been trucking thing, nine trucking? years. Yeah, trucking. That's what y'all uh, say. Trucking. Okay. I mean, uh. I don't even really honestly know the answer to that question. We just like how long you been driving trucks, but uh, okay. So, yeah. <laughs> I've been driving trucks nine years. Nine years, okay. So yeah, you like it, right? Okay. You know, you've been my all answer over. has well, my answer ain't never changed. Like on a scale of one to ten, ten man, I love it, and one I hate it. I always give it a seven. Okay, that's good. Seven is good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the other three, you know, they can trash it, but it's it's dropping to a six because the industry is a uh, trash right now. Trash industry. I, I mean, unless you're just a company driver and you don't you don't care, you can you can do whatever you like. You can quit, go to another job or whatever. But me, I am a what we call a owner operator. Uh, I own my semi and or uh, my tractor, but I don't own the trailer. I lease it out to uh, I lease a trailer. I have a contract with a company, but it's dropping to a six because uh, freight is very cheap right now. Yeah. And that's one of those niches I could cover on this show. How long have you had this vision? Uh, hmm. Tell the truth and shame the devil, even though I we're not going <laughs> to go any deep into that. <laughs> but anyway, all right. Uh, the vision came to me about 11 months ago. Yeah, 11 months. Okay, I'm pressing forward. Pressing forward. Oh Nine yeah, I put later, uh, I Yeah, I put a lot into this. I love the fact that I did it. Um um yeah, yeah. I had some some things that motivated me. And so, here we are. We on the Done Serious show. Game uh adventures. I have a question for you. Yep. Uh can you tell the world a little bit just a small fraction about excellency? I'm here. That it damn is sure is a fraction. I am C. That's like, the I mean, but you, one. <laughs> <laughs> that's one over 381. You can't reduce that anymore. <laughs> I know, right? It's great. <laughs> yeah, right. Like, Dan, how do you reduce one over I'm 381? Out of my shell. Let me buffer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Side note some people don't even know what reducing a fraction mean anymore. So we're just going to go past that. Um, uh, like they don't know what writing in cursive is. Right. Whatever. Right. We're, we're, we're not going to go down. We're not. No, no, not sure. Hey, you got the right person to go down that rabbit hole. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's terrible. It's such a beautiful, beautiful thing to learn how to do that. It's so artistic. It's a shame they took that away or taking it away or whatever. Parents teach right. your ch children to write. Yeah, a woman at a truck stop said that, uh, uh, what I can say here, they're not going to know how to read the uh, Constitution or the Bill of Rights in the near future. So uh, I'll probably be out of here by the time that happens. So, you know, I ain't got to deal with that. Back up into the sky you go. Uh, is that metaphorically? Yeah, that. Uh, is that, uh, <laughs> 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 or is that like literally? However you want to take it. Uh, I'll just solar hop around the universe in my essence ship. Let's just put it that way. Essence ship. That's nice. Yeah. That's real nice. You like that? Uh, it's pretty nice. I prefer it over dirt bag, meat suit, and all that other stuff that I hear. That's well, nice. You know, you know, they say when, like, somebody, I watched some some years ago, and they always say, when you out of here, they always say his body, 
her body. So that means like, mm-hmm. okay, we're not even talking about the person anymore because that person is out of here because they keep referring it to like it's a shell and that person's body, like his body or her. So, you know, I used to overlook the most minute conversations, like minor things like that. But yeah, essence ship. Yeah. So when I'm, you know, back to the cursive though. Yeah. Well, I ain't got to worry about it. wearing a Taurus hat. Yeah. That be my Zodiac. Okay. Oh Go yeah, ahead, I'm a I'm a Taurus. I'm I mean we're not in the age of Taurus anymore. If I'm not mistaken, didn't we just leave Taurus age not too long ago, some some years back? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was a. Uh, mm-hmm. At least I I got to live in my own zodiac for a while. I mean now we in some what is this Aquarius? Interesting time. The age of enlightenment. Am I wrong? Am I wrong about? Did I get it right or did I get it wrong? Every age has its own sense of enlightenment going on about it, so it just depends. Okay, interesting enough. We'll all be enlightened about something at some point, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, uh, it's it's a... been an interesting time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I cannot deny that part about life. I may be in denial about a lot of other things, but uh, what you just said, 100% agree. So I wanted to ask, um, is there space to discuss the equipment in case anyone wants to know what we're using? Uh, yeah, there's space to discuss the equipment. Uh, yeah, sure. What you want to know? Well, maybe tell the people what's being used on this lovely uh, broadcast. Sure. Broadcast. I'm not going to give you no name brands, but um, this is a dynamic microphone. That's a web camera. I'm on a Mac Mini. I give you that. Uh, that on this screen right there is a MacBook Air. Uh, I have a audio interface for this, and the audio interface is running into a analog mixing board. That's a good question because some people ask me that. So the analog mixing board back into this the audio interface, and the interface is running into the Mac Mini, and uh, I got my little Funkadelic wireless keyboard, Funkadelic wireless mouse, and uh, uh, some lights. And uh, I think that, oh, of course, the headphones. You can choose whatever. Uh, headphones, uh, discreet or not discreet. Uh, I'm looking around. And my um, audio uh, interface I like that one. Not the interface, I'm sorry, but the uh, analog mixing board. It allows me to either Bluetooth music into it or plug it into the... And so, as you can see, I can... Okay, we got music. Yes, I can. And I like Roots Reggae music, but we're going to fade it back out so you'll know. Oh, and I can control stuff. it like the wheels of steel. So you do have interest in music as well, right? I do. I do. Um, I produced music for like straight for 12 to 13 years straight. And then I took a serious break from it because I was like burnt out and I hate making it because it became like a job or a labor and the fun just flew out the window. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, I got, well, you know. Um, burned out? Like, it, yeah, well, in the beginning stages, it was all a learning process. So everybody around me, we, we we were having fun doing it. But then when it got to the business side of it, and I, I was, you know, doing all the uh, learning and understanding how it actually operates. And I had up to 11 artists, and I had started a, which this is all part of the niche on this podcast. Um, I started my first company was a sole proprietor, which was the wrong thing to do. And I had to learn that. And I put a record company under the sole sole proprietorship. I guess that's how you said the business side became very stressful and gave me a lot of anxiety. And so after I got out of the arm, I got out, after I got out the army, uh, I moved to Atlanta and I used my GI bill to get into school. And I, I found another Avenue or something that perked my interest more than just doing the music because 
Atlanta to me at that time, there were a lot of people that didn't know what I know, but they were like arrogant and thinking that they were hot. And it just rubbed me the wrong way. I don't want to go too far down that rabbit hole. And so I practically sold my equipment bit by bit in the midst of being in a struggle. And once all the equipment was gone, I just kind of like looked at it in the back. And then the years later, it's a full circle and I came back to it. That's awesome. I'm glad you were able to get back to it. Appreciate that. That's good. Stuff. But I'm doing it different now. I know. Not the way I did in the past. Oh, okay. New things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't mean like different as the beats okay. are different. Of course, it's different beats because it's new era. But uh, the business side of it is different. Back then, it was different. And even back then, I worked with a lot of artists. Uh, I'm not even enthusiastic about working with any artist, to be honest with you. Oh. Oh, oh what's going on with that? Uh, They are like, um, if I work with an artist, they have to be like young. Their parents have to be involved. That way, they, they parents could be motivating their, uh, you know, early adulthood child or whatever. And they have some kind of like family oriented kind of a background because when I was dealing with other artists, they were all adults. They were like having adult children. They were naggy, uh, always needy. Uh, you couldn't give them sound advice. If I'm a sound engineer or a producer, or I'm telling you how to do this part and it, you know what? Enough is enough. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. on to the next. Well, I know earlier I didn't say much, um, but you asked about me, and I'd just like to say that um, I'm into arts and crafts, um, you know, just a lot of creative endeavors, and here to bring a little bit of humor and hopefully <laughs> um, help to <laughs> bring some 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 type of um, sound calming soothing something element to this <laughs> to this um to this creation here yeah Gratitude. Let me see how that goes. Let me see how that goes. Yeah, gratitude. I, I'm I'm excited because in the future we would have different strange and non strange and strange. orthodox and <laughs> unorthodox and clandestine and non clandestine <laughs> irregular or regular folks on the podcast. We're doing that. So I will. I, I can't wait to see how this thing is unfold. Yeah, like you know, folding. Yeah. Woo! There we have it. I know. <laughs> it's just me and you right now, but it's cool though. You know, it's cool. You know, we're here to uh, introduce the world to something different. So you know, it may look the same, but trust me, it is not the same. Well, the things I have... that just go through my head is so terrible. <laughs> Well, I don't want to give all my secrets away at the very first episode, so I'm not going to, like, say, oh, unless you gracious. asking a question. I don't know. I mean, unless you ask me something, I ain't telling shit. I mean, oops. Well, this oh, is like the first oh, episode. Oh, 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 bombs are being dropped tonight. Yeah, oh, my. Uh, bombs. You know what? Bombs. Do I have a change for that one? That's kind of like the first one I said today. I mean, but, you know, that don't that don't stop the algorithm. Oh, are we going to do that? Are we going to have that? a jar? We're collecting change? Oh, I'm going to love this. Oh, like who? Who agreed with that? Oh, I'm asking. Oh, I'm denying. No, I'm replying. Oh, I, you're wise for that. That's that's yeah. great. That's great. You like you direct right communication, decision. so I'm going to directly tell you in O, oh, and it's not oh, New Orleans either. Oh goodness Lisa. gracious! Oh yeah, that that jar would be full. Like oh, as like a trucker, yeah. Months. If I if the I right agree to that jar, oh yeah. Oh, you're right. Jar if you get the right bad. topic out of me, you are so right. I had to probably I'm work so on. I'm so serious. I, I already know. Pressing them right buttons and ooh, 
Well, what do you think a, right. a certain topic will get out of me to, to press them buttons? What what topic you think that I would possibly? I will never tell. I will oh, never okay. tell. <laughs> it's just got to be. I would just go ahead and go for it. Yeah, we'll figure it out one day in one of these episodes. That's what I like about this show. Why would I let you know that I know? Why would I do that? No, I'm not going to prepare you for what I know I can do or I can bring up to set you up to put some money in a jar if we have a challenge like that or a bet or I don't know. No. That would be kind of cool Absolutely though not. because if I set the jar like right there and on the first episode and it's completely empty, I wonder how many episodes would it go by before it, it gets full. I have one better instead of that. Yeah. Picking random like picking another like picking other words outside of those words. Okay, profanity is great and everything. That's, you know, that's something you can collect money on. But how about just the regular things we say all the time? May I get an like example, every- please? <laughs> <laughs> like A. A? Uh, hey. A. Like, like the letter A. Okay, what am I supposed to do? Say bravo? <laughs> no, like if you were to say, I went to go pick A-hole? up A. Blah, blah, oh. blah. Oh. I went to go do this at, well, that would be Ann, but I went to go, oh, Lord. You know what I'm saying. Every time you use A. So, Assimilated. let's go get A. Boom. Oh. Put money in a jar. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't want to play that game either. Yeah, I, I yeah, would yeah. lose that. I like that. I would, I like I would that. definitely I like lose it. I, like I would that. lose that. I know, right? I know, yeah. right? It would be so much fun. It would be so much fun. Or every time you said red, or every time you said yeah. um, in just anything. All right. What else would you like is, what to... Is what, what is that? What, what else? What is that on that? On that art? It... All right, let me look. It is a mountain in the distance with a lot of smoke rising up from the earth. Oh, okay. And it seems the to earth have... Is, um... Go ahead. I was trying to see the earth is under the purple. It looks like purple rippled spirals. That's the earth underneath it or behind it. Mm. Well, we're going to look at it like this then. (laughs) (laughs) This is the earth. (laughs) Okay. This is the sky because most of this is just earth. And this is the only high terrain a part of the earth. The rest of this is all oh, okay. like that sky on this side. The rest of this is smoke drifting up that way and off to this way. And that's light coming out the sky somewhere. Who is responsible for, for this piece? I am. Yours truly <gasps> is responsible. Okay. Yep. I am trying to uh, fix up, fix my, uh, my little, my little keeps falling down thingy. I don't know. I can't be the only one having um, technical difficulties. <laughs> yeah, why Tonight. not? The first, first episode, why not? Sharing is caring. I got a feeling it's going to come back down, but you know what? We'll find out. Maybe that's, yeah, whatever. Maybe that was meant to happen so I could show you how to art, you know, whatever. I'm sure you have other art besides that one. And along I the do. way, we'll get to see more of that. Along with I, your travels and whatever else we get to see along with that, what do you do when you um when you when you stop along the way on your uh stop like is it taking a break or stop for the rest of the day? Like when you reach your destination, do you do anything special? Do you have days? Do you have hours like between picking up and dropping off loads? Uh, yeah, well, um, hmm. depends if I deliver a load and there's a plenty of hours on this uh, federal clock day makers a uh, bye bye. I have a dispatcher and he will find me a backhaul or another load to go somewhere else. And I either go pick it up and then get to like a place of a uh, rest, a uh, safe place and stop. But, uh, in these stops, uh, there's many things I do when I finally shut it down or shut down the uh, truck. Um, there's a PlayStation in here. 
Uh, if I have days off in a major city, I go get a room from time to time, rent a car, go out, see a city I never explored. If I've been there more than once, I get to explore it more. Or sometimes I uh, enjoy the Apple TV. Or sometimes I uh, make music on, on like kind of different pieces of equipment, like the MPC Live, if anybody knows what that is. I got the, the second one, MPC Live 2. Or make music on my phone or um, work on art or just watch a movie and stream stuff or man that thing will not stay where it wants to be no more I, i'm just gonna take it down though but um i do a lot of different things though i just gotta you know what i feel like what i feel sometimes i don't do anything because i just be tired the new the areas the, um see the attractions get involved with yeah. the communities or do, like if you make regular runs to certain cities are there certain places you frequent, that type of thing? And you don't have to say where or anything like that, right? I'm just I'm just asking, do you have a routine? Uh I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh it's kinda hard to keep a routine in trucking though, because like uh deliveries be different on a day to day basis. Uh routine wise or routes wise, like uh, as an owner operator, I pick where I wanna go and last year I kinda like um I'm not scared to go anywhere as just like as as a trucker, you know. Um, some people just won't do certain things, but I've experienced like every 48 state. So it doesn't scare me to go anywhere, but last year, yeah, well, last year at the beginning of 2023, I got stranded in Wyoming because they closed the highways down for five days in all directions. And, uh, so I was like, you know what I'm, and then when I opened it up, I saw a truck do a whole 180 and went into the middle of the median. He didn't flip it, but, and, um. And then in like the spring is kind of dangerous with the strong winds and the fall is kind of dangerous with the strong winds. And I had to pull on the shoulder last year in Nebraska for a, a, turn, a tornado uh, across the highway. Um, so this year and at the end of last year as an owner operator, I decided I would just do a solely back and forth so certain route. I ain't going nowhere else. Don't ask me. Don't beg me. I, I'm straight. And I'm waiting on summer to come, so I will go wherever I feel like it. Like, you know, um, there's other places you go in the wintertime that doesn't scare me, but certain routes I normally used to run, I, I just kind of cut it out because of weather. Just you're speaking on, like, the ice and the conditions, like the inclement weather type deal, with snow and ice, maybe hills, um, mountains. To be honest with you, mountains don't really uh, scare me. Um, I think I went to a good trucking school in my city and state. Cause uh, I've been in other forums or groups and uh, whatever. And I, I hear some, I read some of the comments and, you know, it's a bunch of truckers. Like, I don't think they know a lot. Not that the younger version was now though, but um, mountains don't scare me. Uh, I've driven in snow practically all nine years. I've been driving trucks. Um, no matter how cautious I can be, it still could be uh, treacherous or it could still be dangerous. Uh, but, my biggest fear of driving trucks, though, is not the snow and it's not the hill. It's wind. Wind is not my friend. Mm -hmm. It'll make me uh clench up, you know, if you know what I'm saying, you know. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Because, um, like, hydroplaning is random, but you know it's raining. Oh, so okay. you try to, like, slow down, you know, reduce your speed. That's the safety thing you learn in the beginning of driving trucks. So, like, when it's raining, if it says it's 65, you should probably be doing, like, 60 to 55. That's just uh, – because if you have an accident, even though you was doing the speed limit, they're going to find you at fault because you didn't reduce speed because of, the you know, the weather, the severe weather. And same thing about snow. And uh, same thing about hills. Like, if you go down a hill and the speed limit says – the hill is this speed and you're going down the hill faster and you wreck uh whatever and you kill somebody they're gonna get you for it you know and so um the hills don't bother me too much snow don't rain no the wind is like can you imagine you driving your car and like you're going down the highway and out of nowhere some incredible hawk type guy just come punch your car and it's just random you don't even see it coming and that's kind of like how I take wind. And certain, like anything like, 20, now I'm going to say 30 miles an hour wind and above, 
when you go through an area and you can't see wind. So when you go through a certain area, it looks plain, James, and you just go into this wind tunnel pocket, you cross right clean through it. It's like somebody's punching the side of your truck. And I've seen my um, wheel lift up out the ground on the trailer in the mirror. When I look in the mirror, you can see the tra trailer lifting up and then it sits back down. And I don't care how brave or how strong or how manly you think you are, or whatever the words I'm looking for, it will make you feel like a peasant. <laughs> and it mm -hmm. also will give you a mini stroke. You'll get so much uh, anxiety from it. Sometimes you might have to even pull over and just like collect your thoughts because, you, you know, these trucks, they don't have airbags in it. So my mom used to be like, where's the airbag? I'm like airbag. They don't put no airbags in here because they want you to be so safe. And what, they train you so much to, to do certain things so well, I guess, that you should not be wrecking this thing at all. Yeah. So that's okay. it. I haven't driven anything like that. In years and a lot of years it was just ever and ever times well i can imagine um yeah it was just for a, a short period of time okay you know how those you know how those old vehicles are. <laughs> i had a deuce and a half and so uh, uh, I, I, drove a I, I drove a deuce i drove a deuce and a half i hated driving that <laughs> was it a manual Was was it a I guess stick? So. Look, I don't. No, it wasn't a stick. No. Oh, you got lucky. It the, was a man. The first, like the first vehicle they gave lucky. me to. Yeah, you got lucky. I tried to tear my deuce and a half up on purpose, and that thing was built so tough I couldn't strip the clutch. I tried to grind the gears on purpose. I hated how loose the wheel felt. The felt the steering wheel felt. What deuce you drove? It, it Mine was really stiff weird. as a was rock. Like, mine was not. Oh my god! I can remember trying to make a right turn, and I didn't have it in gear. And the slowest started speeding down. It went because you like you got one hand on the wheel and one hand in the gear, and I couldn't get it in gear. I wasn't good at driving a manual then, and I had to use both hands to try to turn it. And I was pulling it hard, and I, the truck practically came to a halt and ordered me to get it in gear because I don't think that one I had had power steering. And I was so happy when I, I got out that unit, but that's another story. <laughs> no. Yeah. And no more deuce for me. I was All like, right. yes. And I was young. I was brand new. So I, I thought in my mind, if I tear it up, they won't get me to drive it. Wrong idea. I mean, but you, you drove, I mean, that's driving heavy equipment though. I mean, um, I, know. So were you a, I didn't drive you, it very often. You're a veteran? Absolutely. I am. I am too. I don't even want to go on that old nostalgia. I ain't go we we're not gonna use no military words in here. We ain't gonna say not H word or none of that. Why not? It's so <laughs> much fun. Who? <laughs> Who? Let me stop. We're gonna put it in there like yeah, you just put it in there. But look, anybody watching this. Trust me, I'm way past oh military stories. I do not do it anymore. Too funny. Uh oh, what's well, that? That is an alarm clock at such and such time, and it's coming from there. Uh, believe it or not, that's actually one of my old beats for my alarm. Because the intro, so like, it wake you up like. Uh, is that how you wake up? Like yeah. You wake up. Like, uh, like man. Gosh. Ooh. If you guys <laughs> wake up like that, uh, get help. Uh, get some help. Well, how should I wake up? My goodness. Oh, you ready to go start my day? My gosh. Why? Well, <gasps> I like the beat. But man, when you in your realm sleep and you hear that beat, yeah, me personally, I'm also like, what the fuck, man? Mm -hmm. Oh damn, mm -hmm, a, please. Two words. Oh. Okay. Two words. What are the two words? I, I that was a penny jar or a, a coin jar. I just slipped them out again. You know, that's oh. all. 
yeah, we know we uh we focusing on the algorithm and the analytics. So before we get out of here, I would definitely like to say, can you uh please subscribe, hit the like because the like helps the algorithm, and also turn on the notification so you can get the little bing when I post the podcast for you to watch with me done serious yep and excellency Uh on the done serious show (laughs) (laughs) what what was that that's worse than my wake up Uh, what what the hell was that that's what you did (laughs) you you started that (laughs) I'm looking for the coffee I'm now. It's coffee it. time. It's all the way over there. <laughs> Damn. No, no, Good no. <laughs> Good. What, what, what wrong with you, go? Why are you making that kind of sound like that? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Let me stop. Ooh, did not sound know. like you got to go to the bathroom yeah. or something, you know? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> are you constipated? Let <laughs> me stop. <laughs> Am I constipated? No, fuck no. Bloody hell, what are you talking about constipated? Oh my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> Let me stop. Mm-mm-mm. My goodness nah. gracious. But yeah. Thank y'all like for checking sounds. out the Dumb Series show. Say what? Yes, thank you. Yes. And crazy first episode. Eh, you would like to like, ask me anything else before we get out of here? This was actually tame. This wasn't that crazy. No, no. That's the scary I... part. That's the scary part. This was this was not that crazy. Nah, it was just a like introduction, I guess, you know, a comfort zone. It hasn't quite reached the couch yet. Once I get on the couch, it's over with. Oh, he just admitted that he gets on the couch. You know what that means. You're afraid. I mean, if Very I can afraid. move this for a minute. And I can get like, like once I'm like this, and I'm on my show, and I'm talking, yeah, I'm it about to be on patient. some other stuff, huh? Mhm, on some other stuff. Uh, yeah, but you know, it is what it is. It is. It's unfortunate. Would that saying ever get Something old? Real fun right now. What? It is what it is. Why would it? I don't know. Some things wore out. Like you can't say certain things anymore because, like, the 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 younger generation never heard it before because it just phased out. But that is what it is. Seems like it's just still hanging out here. Or, Mm -hmm. um, okay, I can't think of other ones. It has to be in a situation awareness type of conversation. You know, uh, like Audi Five Thousand. That was a good one. If you say that now, that might give away some mm-hmm. some 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 uh, secrets about yourself, because <laughs> they other people are like what 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 do you mean what? <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> All right, so, I think it's been a great yeah. night. All so, right, we can wrap like that I up. Like I said, it is what it is. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Did you enjoy yourself on the first episode? It's been an experience. Don C. Yeah, I appreciate you, though. I thank you for being <laughs> Let me be corny. Just let me be corny, please. Yeah, you caught me off guard with that corny one. I, I heard asked. everything on that one. I heard oh, that I, one on there. I, well, I was corny like about three, four times tonight. You're, you're, you'll see. You'll see. <laughs> Let it happen. Let it I think happen. that one took the cake, though. <laughs> <laughs> I think you, you totally was corny on that one, but it's okay. It was a good corny. I like to do it on purpose. Yeah, it wasn't a bad corny. I just wasn't expecting that, but that's cool, though. I like you doing that. That was pretty Corn dope. Hold up. Dope is played out too. What I'm supposed to say now? Oh, that was lit. <laughs> Please don't. Please don't. <laughs> oh. All right. Please Thank don't. y'all for joining the 
Done Series show. Yes, I am your host. Thank you for joining. Done Series with my co-host, Excellency. Peace. It's been great. Don't Serious Show 